I'm Shironika Karnanayak from the Open University of Sri Lanka. Uh, I am the project leader and the co-lead researcher of uh, RAW4D subproject 10.6 uh, with my co-lead researcher Som Naidu and 12 others in the research team. We conducted uh, the study at the Open University of Sri Lanka. That is a study on uh, to see uh, the impact of integration of open educational resources in the teaching and learning process of uh, secondary schools in Sri Lanka. Yeah, the main aim of our project was to see how and in which ways OER is having an impact on the teaching and learning process uh, in the Sri Lankan schools. And we looked at three uh, specific aspects. That is uh, the changes that uh, happen uh, in the pedagogical perspectives of the teachers and changes uh, in the pedagogical practices of the teachers and changes in the way of uh, use of instructional resources by the teachers. Yes, uh, now uh, in our context, uh, in, the, in the Sri Lankan school system, this uh, OER concept was totally novel. So we used a unique uh, methodology uh, because in order to see the impact, uh, we had to introduce the concept first. So we used the methodology design based research or DBR methodology where uh, we designed an intervention uh, through and through a series of uh, steps, stages, uh, this intervention was carried out. Uh, while the intervention was uh, happening, uh, we collected data uh, during these stages. So this uh, actually the uniqueness here is the researchers and the participants uh, collaboratively engaged in this process. It was a participatory approach uh, where uh, the intervention happened in two ways actually. There were two uh, major things happened, intervention workshops and a learning management system. Uh, I want to mention that there were 230 teachers, school teachers involved in this process uh, who were teaching in schools in nine provinces of Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka we have nine provinces, so we had a representative sample of uh, all nine provinces all over the country. They were student teachers of our Open University of Sri Lanka and uh, so uh, we were meeting them uh, at regular intervals uh, at different intervention workshops, but in, in between we were communicating with them throughout using a learning management system in the Moodle. Uh, and there were several uh, strategies we used uh, during this intervention uh, to support them uh, integrate OER as well as to collect data uh, at the same time uh, during the process. We used a variety of data collection strategies uh, during this process uh, because uh, we were looking at three aspects, the pedagogical perspectives, pedagogical practices and the use of instruction resources. Uh, we had the questionnaire surveys uh, and also we had a concept mapping exercise, exercise at different stages, pre-intervention, mid-intervention and the end of the intervention so that we could see how their thinking patterns changed. Also we had uh, self uh, reflections written by them, maintaining a reflective journal throughout uh, and focus group discussions, in-depth interviews, uh, so there was a and also uh, observing their lessons, how they conducted actually OER integrated lessons in their schools and looking at their lesson plans, how they changed, all these things were done at the pre-intervention stage, mid-intervention and the end of the intervention so that we could see the changes happening. So uh, the findings uh, actually we saw significant changes in the way, though it was uh, slow at the beginning because obviously it was a novel concept, uh, however we could see uh, changes. If I just summarize uh, uh, in terms of the uh, how the concept has been adopted by them, they knew nothing. At the beginning they knew nothing about OER, so the concept was new. So from a no usage of a very low usage of OER, by the end of the project, they were using, not only using, reusing, but remixing and revising and even creating uh, their own OER, especially in the local languages because 
uh, most of the OER available were in English language, but the teachers were teaching in their local languages, Sinhala and Tamil. So they were, they started creating their own OER by translating, finding, searching and finding relevant materials and looking at the licenses and then translating them and also creating their own OER. So that was a uh, very significant uh, effect, uh, impact we saw. Also sharing was increased uh, in the learning management system. They were sharing whatever they are finding and creating, they were sharing with the whole group. Also, they started sharing uh, their knowledge and their experiences with other groups of teachers in their own school as well as other schools. They started conducting workshops for other teachers. So such, th these are some few examples. So we could see a significant impact and uh, we captured it was a huge amount of qualitative data, especially the narratives they were writing. We captured all these uh, narratives uh, and compiled them into stories. So uh, a major outcome of this project is this collection of stories. We published it as a book called Dream Weaving Open Educational Practices. The chapters in this book were authored by this teachers who were involved in the project as well as the research team. So it's stories of both parties, the researchers and the practitioners. Several stories are there. So this is an OER itself. This is being shared with all the other schools all over the country so that uh, it will show, uh, I mean, it will be helpful for the others uh, in their process of integration of OER.